Hello everyone, my name is Raven, and welcome to the Retro Dev, and welcome to our BBS tutorial series. In this series, we're going to use SyncTerm to connect to a BBS, or at least in this video anyway, and we're going to cover some basic stuff with SyncTerm that you may or may not need to know. And the other thing we're also going to cover is creating an account on the BBS. And the series as a whole is just going to show you how to use a BBS. And the reason this series came about in the first place was because, well, quite frankly, uh, I didn't realize until the other day, but uh, not as many people know how to use a BBS. Even if it seems like it's super straightforward and intuitive, there are some things about it that are just not intuitive. Um, so without further ado, let's go on ahead and get started messing with SyncTerm. So for default connection settings, I just leave this alone. Uh, typically, I modify the settings over here, depending because you know BBSs tend to have different options and so forth. So I just leave that alone. For current screen mode, you just want this to be 80 by 25. Font management allows you to manage your fonts. I don't have any fonts, so I'm just going to skip that. And for program settings, I'm just going to leave this alone. Now, yours might be a little different depending on which version you're using. I'm using 1.2b uh, SDL in full screen mode. Um, but, you know, things can vary depending on what you're using. So let's go on ahead and insert a new item with the hit the insert key. This will allow you to make a new BBS. And we need to give this BBS a name. I'm going to call this error 200. And our BBS connects over Telnet. Most do these days. And then we need the address. Now, typically, depending on the BBS, you're going to have either an IP or or a URL. In our case, we can use a URL. Um, and again, in the description, there's a lovely link to the retrodev.com and the page gives you the address, but it's also, I'm gonna type it out here. So bbs.error200.tech. Okay, awesome. And now we have our BBS and we're ready to go, except we do have to make some changes. So going to hit F2 to edit. Now, a lot of BBSs still operate on TCP port 23, but you will get hammered if you run a server on port 23 by all the lovely bots that exist these days. So we're just going to change that to 1337. And here you could you could auto fill in your username and password. So when you, you know, sign in, it just pops you right in. We're going to skip that. Uh, for the status screen, we're going to hide that just because there's really not a whole lot of a point to having it unless you just like it. Uh, basically, it puts a bar at the bottom down there. You see where there's F1, help, and escape for exit and so forth. Uh, it puts a bar basically smack dab down at the bottom, and it gives like some stat information like how long you've been connected, the name of the BBS, and so forth. It's, it's cool, but I don't personally really see much of a point. For com rate, I'm going to set this to 115,200. Uh, but you can set this to whatever. This basically effectively uh, allows you to control how fast you would like. So if you want, you know, if you want to feel like what it was like in, you know, the extremely late 70s, very early uh, 80s to connect to a BBS, pop that bad boy to 300 bits per second. I'm going to go with 115,200 bits per second. For music, I'm going to enable all ANSI music. Uh, yes, that's right. Some BBS door games and other stuff do actually have music. Hide pop-ups, I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to leave the font alone. But most of this stuff you can just leave alone. Okay, now the other thing down here is RIP. RIP mode is um, graphics. Uh, so a lot of BBSs, they actually do support some fairly advanced graphics through RIP. Um, my BBS doesn't, so I'm going to leave it off. Some games like Legend of the Red Dragon do but I don't have a certain utility set up to actually handle sending the data. So you basically just get a bunch of buttons and nothing else because it doesn't send any of the graphics. So we're just going to leave that off. Okay, so now that everything's connected, we'll just hit enter and then we will connect to the BBS. Um, and you can see this is the lovely little intro screen, little mascot dudes down here. And yeah, I mean, you know, it's fairly straightforward. So we want to create an account. So, you know, we don't want to just, you know, I don't want to sign in. So how do we create an account? Oh, it's easy. Just hit enter. And would you like to create an account? Yes, I would. And now we need an alias or a handle, you know, what we're going to display as. Um, I'm going to call this BBS tutorial. 
and I'll just be mail. Why not? And for an address, I'm just going to say, uh, okay. Enter your desired user note. Uh, this can be changed later. And I honest to God, forget what this is for. I think it's like you can add certain things like, you know, if you're a member of a scene group or something, you can you can put this in here. You can change this anytime. If I recall, that's kind of what it's for. You can basically put a note next to yourself and we'll just hit enter and enter column numbers. This is, you know, the how many. So this doesn't operate in a traditional what you would consider pixel space or graphics mode. I mean, it's simulated, but because, you know, sync term is modern and it runs out of SDL too. Uh, but basically, uh, it runs in text mode. So we have 80 columns of characters and 25 rows of characters. Uh, and we're just going to leave it the default. Uh, I set up the BBS to operate at 80 by 25. You can literally connect to the BBS from a Tandy. So, you know, that's super swell. Uh, enter terminal lines, 25. That's great. This would be the rows here. Uh, and we'll just hit enter. And now we just need a password. I think I enforced eight characters and I should probably find this menu here and change it. Uh, so let's just add a password. It should accept this. Perfect. And now we're at the new account. Application has been completed. We don't really ask for very much. A lot of PBSs will ask for like address and all that stuff. I turned it all off. I don't want your address. You can go in and add in joke addresses though. And in fact, I highly recommend you do that because it be funny as long as it's somewhat appropriate anyway um and we'll just hit enter to create the account and you must now send uh you know an email to the system operator so you can just hit escape and abort message or you can send a message i'm just gonna abort the message okay you can't abort a force message of course uh Okay, and save a message. I'm sending it to myself. So these are the taglines. You can add new taglines. Um, you know, some of these are pretty funny. Some of these are just silly. Um, and they're very old school in 90s, so a lot of them are probably not very appropriate for that matter. But you can just hit escape. I don't want to send a tagline. Uh, add to the one-liners. Um, no, and I'm not really sure why that messed up there. Okay, so new bulletins, would you like to read them now? Uh, these are basically what you're going to get. I'll, oh, right, the bulletin, right, yeah. I need, I need to modify this menu. Uh, we, don't, we don't need to read the bulletins. Um, you know, it's just telling you about the, the bulletin. I need to get rid of that. Okay, so when I get rid of it, I need to actually modify it to actually have something there, you know, other than the mystic default. Uh, so you have one message, one unread. Would you like to read it now? Yes. Um, and I should explain, you use the arrow keys to move. I should have said that, but it's fairly self-explanatory, so I, I guess I just figured I didn't. Um, would you like to read them now? Yes. And then you hit enter. And if you had a bunch of them here, you know, you can modify. And you, at any point in time, you can hit shift. Basically, you like you were typing a question mark, and it will give you... Uh, help on how to do stuff. There is actually quite a bit of help. So we'll go to the, the you know, lovely little uh, thing that I made here. And I need to modify this um, again because the text should be solid green. And, well, it's not. But, you know, that's that's okay. Anyhow, just minor details, things that I need to tweak here and there. It's not so easy to mess with this stuff. Anyway... So this is sent to every user and it explains the rules and so forth. And you just hit escape at any point in time. And there you have it. You are now inside the BBS and you can go anywhere you like. Like for example, you can go to node chat. Um, I think you can do a slash who. Ah, someone unknown is logging in and I am apparently in the teleconference. That's cool. And slash Q to get out. Okay, so that's the end of this tutorial here. Uh, in the next tutorial, we'll cover some other stuff. Um, possibly, maybe we'll make one tutorial and we'll just go down the line on how to do certain things. Uh, the BBS is still under 
uh, construction. So if you go in and things look a little different, that's okay. It's still functionally the same. Um, but uh, I really do need to push the new update because a lot of this stuff has changed on the local build. So thanks everyone for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Don't know what it'll be about, but it will probably be about the message menu or maybe door games. Door games are pretty fun. Anyhow, see you guys in the next one.